Welcome to Tim's Four Wheel Drive Adventures. China Camp is behind us, basically between us and the gates that we came through. We're in a pretty rough section. We tried to go off a couple of spurs, and they're even rougher. But we just passed through what looked like it was a meteorite rich area. And now we're back to just a little old junk rock again. And uh, lots of stream beds and stream areas that come down the mountain like that, like that. So pretty, pretty tough goon. And Tim's in a Jeep. It's got better shocks, better tires, better everything. That's either a mine shaft or a well. I'm not sure. Up the hill or? Right there. Oh, you mean the pit? Yeah, yeah the, thing, the thing that looks like a mine. Yeah, somebody dug that. That's definitely a mine. That's, that's shaped timbers. Yeah. So Tim's going to come grab the camera from me and go lean his, his melon over that. That, to me, looks like a mine shaft. Just at, you know, passing speculation. You're already on. Nope, it's not a mine shaft. What is it? It's it's definitely been dug out, but it may have had a building here, and this is what's left of it. Well, those are shaped like timbers because of the size of them. Yeah, this must have been a building of some sort. I can't hear Tim. So this all looks like dirt that was pulled out of there, out of the hole. It doesn't go back into the hill at all? No, it just dead ends. How it's far? got ro solid rock. How far? A foot? Two foot? Oh, wow. Yeah, it doesn't go very there's, far. There's nothing really here that would, rock-wise or surrounding area-wise, that would indicate to me that this would be a place where one might find gold. Uh, there's an ancient stream bed going up that way. The road that we were traveling on continues up that way, so, well, more to follow.